And in this video, I'm going to show you some creepy footage of mites. Yes, mites will invade your garden and completely wipe out your tomato plants and a few other different fruit and vegetables. So yes, I'm going to go through in this video what I'm doing to get rid of mites that we just discovered in my garden. Fun stuff. And within the last couple of days, my leaves have started to go yellow. That is not a good thing. So that is what mites look like on a tomato plant. Yes, we have a big problem with mites now because once you see them at this stage, that is a couple of weeks old, they will be everywhere. And they are tiny little bugs that are about oh, less than a millimeter. You can practically can't see them with the naked eye, but they will attack the plant. They can multiply. They can go from an egg to an adult in less than two weeks. They do not like water and it hasn't really rained much in the last week. And all of a sudden, boom, there are leaves like that. There are unaffected leaves, and then there are sort of semi-dodgy leaves. There is another leaf there. That is not good. That may be mite damage. That actually is. Oh, I wonder if we can zoom in. You can actually see them. That's about as zoomy in as we're going to get. But well, we have a problem with mites. Lots of new leaves that are fine. Lots of old leaves that are dodgy. So what I'm going to do is trim all the dodgy leaves off. I'm going to hose the crap out of everything because they do not like water. And then we're going to try a mild oil solution on a few affected areas and hope for the best. Wow, look at that. That was not there a few days ago. Crazy, crazy times. Fun in the tomato area. Okay, so it gets worse. As I was just pruning the tomatoes, I've noticed that these little seedlings here are looking mingy as well. Check out the leaves on those. That is not great. So obviously that's some sort of mite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these leaves and we're gonna go under the microscope and see what on earth is destroying my plants. 99% sure they are mites, but we're gonna find out in a second, I guess. <laughs> And how creepy is that? So this is a hundred times zoom under the microscope. And yes, that is a spider mite, called a spider mite because they have eight little legs, as you can see, and two beady little red eyes. This is the first time I've actually seen one under a microscope and it is kind of freaky. It is just sitting there, not doing much. I have lurked around these leaves for the last five or 10 minutes and I've spotted all sorts of things. Yes, that's the microscope I'm using, just a simple microscope of eBay. There is the leaf. So they are ridiculously small. There is even eggs and all sorts on the leaves. So as I said before, they mostly spend their time underneath the leaf. Really hard to see, like you can't see them without a microscope or a really good phone. Wow, check that out though. So now we're gonna have to try and remove most of them, otherwise not good. Oh, that's so creepy. And my neighbor is making some sort of deafening noise with some electrical tool. <laughs> Don't you love that when you're trying to film something? But now that we've seen the mites underneath the microscope, oh my god, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Yeah, so I have trimmed most of the leaves that were infected off these tomato plants. I'm giving them a good hose and then once that dries, I'm going to try a solution of oils and possibly a detergent solution as well. So there's only a few leaves that seem to be infected, but the mites life cycle is only about two weeks and that goes from the little tiny eggs to a fully adult mite, which is crazy because in two weeks, if you multiply that by millions of mites that'll be living all in here somewhere, that is a lot of little tiny bugs that can do a lot of damage. Yeah, and it's pretty hard to wipe them all out. Not that we need to wipe them all out. We just want enough of them that they don't really cause any damage. <laughs> Not billions and billions of them. So moderation of mites, I know. And even touching a leaf like that, that may have mites on it, touching that leaf will spread them. So they will be pretty much everywhere. They are so small that even the wind can spread them. But that is where we are. We hopefully are on top of all the mite situation here. They were doing so well too. Check out how awesome those tomatoes are. If you can hear it with the noise in the background. I have no idea if you can hear the noise in the background. 
Oh, there's a noise in the background. Okay, now that that is all sorted, I did notice my potatoes are dodgy as well. So we're gonna jump out of the cage around there. And my poor, poor potatoes, look at that. So obviously there are, oh, there's even other little bugs on them. Those little beetles are little buggers. Yeah, so the beetles aren't a huge problem. They just make little tiny holes like that. But if we see that sort of color there, that is more mites. So I'm going to just spray the heck out of these. I'm gonna try not the oil solution on these, but I'm gonna try a soapy sud solution and hopefully that will smother the little mites. Well, most of them, so they can't do too much damage. Neither is still making lots of noise over there. <laughs> I'm gonna spray and come back. Oh, the wonderful smell of dishwashing liquid. Okay, now there's a plane going overhead. So loud. But yeah, the whole idea is to spray underneath the leaves because that's mostly where the mites are gonna be and hopefully that will knock down a fair few of them. <sighs> there'll be update in a few weeks. Obviously there'll be an update on the tomatoes in my tomato cage, which is this thing here. And obviously mites are way too small to be bothered with this mesh. <laughs> At least there's no grasshoppers in there. If you did enjoy this video and you like the cool footage of the mites, that is so creepy, isn't it? Click the thumbs up so I know. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And if you want to watch other videos, there are other videos on the screen. We will see you in the next one.